Hi, this is James from Reise Copenhagen. Uh, today we're going to have a quick look at this Reise Classic and the integrated TSA lock that it is equipped with. We're going to run through the factory default settings um, and the code settings from the factory of 000, uh, basic uh, parts and components of the, the lock itself uh, and its operation, and finally, installation um, and setting of your own personal code. Come on over here and we'll have a closer look at this. Uh, great, so this is the, the lock itself and as it normally would look um, um, when you receive the case from your local dealer or as a parcel if you buy online. Um, here we have the, the default settings of 000 as far as the code goes. We have the zipper pullers here which are actually engaged, installed and locked. Normally it's like this. <clears throat> um, here we have the open button, and in order to open the case, you want to push in the direction of this arrow right there. I can go ahead and do that right now. So in order to just open the case when you receive it for the first time, just take this one. Code is normally 00, or always 000 if it's a Reza product. Push that, and they pop right out. So now my case is open. <clears throat> Great. Um, go back to the lock itself. Um, down here, we have a keyhole. Now this keyhole is not for us to use. There's no key provided with the case but this is for the Transportation Security Authority in the United States. Um, they have a master key with which they can go inside and open the case, go, open the case and go inside and examine the contents without damaging your lock or your case in any way in order to do, in order to do that. Um, so that's for them to use. Um, and this, this system is used in um, many, many countries around the world, actually. Uh, so it's a really, really great system. And that's kind of the heart of the the travel century or TSA lock concept. And finally here we have this red diamond which is a logo type of travel century which is the company that sort of organizes this concept together with the uh, Transportation Security Authority. So that's a stamp of quality but also uh, indicates that this is part of that uh, greater concept. Super! <clears throat> now we can jump right into installing and saving our own personal code. Now, um, in order to do that, there is a set button, which I'll get to right now. And a lot of times the set button is kind of a little hidden. And here it's right here on the inside. You see a little indentation right there. And what I want to do is I'm going to push that in in order to be able to set my code. So I usually use a ballpoint pen. It's pretty perfect for that. So I take the ballpoint pen, push the set button in, it clicks. And on this particular model of lock, it remains pushed in during the process here. Um, so that one is in, <clears throat> and now I'll just um, install my code, and I've chosen a code of 424, so I'll just go ahead and dial that in, 424, uh, there we have it, 424, um, and in order to set and save that code and program it basically, I'll just push the open button in the direction of the arrow again, just like that. And now we can see here on this side that the set button is popped back out, <clears throat> which is an indication to me that it is set. I can open the, uh, push the button down, opening the case effectively. And here I see that my code is 424. I'll just do a quick check of that. If I dial away from that, I cannot push down and open. Um, dial my code back in here, 424. Again, I can open. And just a final test with the zipper pullers themselves. Here, in the lock, on my code, I can open, <clears throat> change the code here in order to lock. I cannot open any longer, but just to show one more time, everything is working perfectly. So that's it. So that is the Reise Classic <clears throat> and the integrated TSA lock um, that it's equipped with. Uh, factory default setting 000. Um, function, basic function and parts of the lock and installation and saving or setting your own personal code. Um, I do recommend that you understand your lock and that you do um, install your own personal code and that you do lock uh, your case while traveling. When you lock your case it actually um, prevents that someone else could tamper with your lock and install some code that you may not be aware of. So understand your lock um, put a code into it and save it and do lock your luggage while traveling.
Great, that's it. Um, race a classic and have an awesome day.